So for those of you who thought I might have joined the Blue Man Group, no. The answer is that I painted my trailer blue. Now, why blue? Well, I had seven cans of spray paint left over from another project that never happened. So, why let it go to waste when seven cans is just enough to completely paint this entire trailer? Now, I could have painted it black. I did have black as well. I didn't have as nearly as much, and I knew it was going to take probably a good six, seven cans. And I only had five of the other, and it was flat black, which I really didn't care for. Which, this blue will work out just fine, because I plan on having a blue door. Now, I got my axle installed, and the wires are installed for the electric brakes. That's the electric brake and the wiring harness coming towards the back of the trailer and it comes across and it meets up on this side, which was a mistake because I honestly thought it was on the other side. I was thinking upside down and backwards here. But everything is installed. Everything is painted on this. And here's my wiring harness for the rear lights. Obviously, they're not installed because they go on the house. It is screwed to the frame using zip ties that are specially designed to accept a screw. In this case, it is a self-tapping screw. Here's the axle setup. I actually still have some more blue left. I got some touch-ups to do here, but all in all, it looks good. On the tongue of the trailer is the junction box for all the electrical, the breakaway system, the battery box, which is mounted to the frame by a board, and the seven pole or seven pin trailer harness. And on this side, this is the breakaway switch. It is not 100% hooked up because I misled the, misread the wires common convention says the blue wire goes to the blue wire and the black goes to the trailer junction box. Apparently on this it's the opposite way. Oops, I'll have to make that correction but I have to get more of the butt connectors and I have to get another ring terminal. This is the jack. I need to get a base plate for it and I think I might replace the handle because it's a little busted but the jack still works well. And then we have the chains, which I need to get hooked for, but that's a project for another day. But for now, I call this trailer done.